everybody so today I'm going to be doing a video on my um, homeschool binder um, there's not a lot in here because Sawyer is the only child being homeschooled right now and he is a preschool level so um, I am going to go through this and then if you want to see how I lesson plan and um, how I fill all of these sheets out um, there will be another video posted either before or after this. I'm not sure what the order is going to be. Probably after this. So all of these pages are blank. Keep that in mind. Um, I wanted to show before I wrote in it. And then you'll see me um, and all my notes in it uh, in the next video. So let's get started. So first, I got this printable from Faithfully Homemade. You guys know I rave about her. She has a, um, a planning type of printable that you can buy and download. It's only $3, so way worth it. I will link that down below. Um, and this is just a one inch binder, I believe. So let me open this. And right in the beginning, we have mom's morning routine. Um, and Lincoln obviously has tummy time because he is only seven weeks old. Um, and Sawyer, this is just his weekly schedule. So up here is my cleaning schedule. Monday is bathroom, so I have to do that today. Um, Tuesday is our bedroom, Wednesday is the kitchen, Thursday is the living room, and then Friday is the playroom or the schooling room. And then over here is another part of my morning routine that I want to do before we start school. So get them both dressed, make breakfast for them, and tea for me or coffee, whatever. Unload and load the dishwasher, which I did this morning. My Bible reading, which I haven't done because last minute got thrown at me that um, we have to go to the mechanics. So start laundry if needed which I already did and then grab the daily work folder before we start school which we already did school today so um and like I said here we have um Lincoln he has tummy time during um school which lasts about probably 20 minutes or so um and then here's Sawyer Monday he works on phonics so the alphabet um this week is the letter A um Tuesday is shapes we don't have a shape of the week we kind of just work with all shapes Wednesday is math um, the number this week is the number one Thursday is colors we do, we do have a color of the week this week is red and then Friday is choice so something fun so like flashcards or um, this week we have something fun with animal matching so um, that's kind of what I follow as far as our folders because I know if you've seen our cart video I have five folders for Monday through Friday to put our work in so um, so there's that. Oh, extracurricular. Um, he has speech therapy on Tuesdays and Thursdays. So when you flip that page, you have a year to glance, which I think I'm going to write down birthdays here. Um, I'm not really sure what I'm going to use this page for. She does have a video. Um, Amanda from Faithfully Homemade has a video on how she uses all of these, so I'm going to go back and see how she uses it. But we don't have that many birthdays, so I'm going to figure out how to use this in some way. Next over here is um, the months at a glance. So I have February, March. We're not even going to pay attention to February because it's the middle of March. Um, you can fill in the dates. Um, we have April, May, June, July. Pay no attention to July because we're going to stop in June. I'm following the um, our school district's calendar. So uh, we're only... We'll still do educational activities, but as far as being strict on it, it's going to be September through June. Um, and then we'll have some breaks. So, yes. So we have those. And then after that, over here, I have um, 2017, January through June, which totally disregard January, February. Um, and what I'm going to do with these is figure out what works for me as far as keeping track of the days that we do school. Because if Sawyer's not feeling it one day, I'm not going to pressure him to do it. So just for my records to keep track of what days we do school. Um, over here is um, circle time, our routine for that, because God forbid I didn't have it written down, I would not do everything every day. So I have this here so I can open this during um, circle time and make sure that I'm doing everything that I need to be doing. Now we have lesson plan. Um, Lincoln's isn't going to be filled out at all, so it's more of Sawyer's, what we plan to do, and then notes afterwards on um, how the lesson went. So I have a couple pages of those. This will last probably about a month. Um, and then I have this where I'm going to put some quotes about teachers when I'm feeling a little down and I don't think I'm doing a great job. I will have some quotes there. I'm going to quick finish this up. Goals for the year, which I have to fill out, um, whether it be my personal goals as well as Sawyer's goals. Um, I'll put that there. 
professional resources to purchase if I want to get, I do want to get a, um, what's it called, a pocket chart for some of his stuff, so I'll put that there, um, or whatever I want from Teachers Pay Teachers, which I will put that link below if you've never heard of the website. Over here I have books to purchase, whether that be reading books, curriculum books, over here. Passwords to remember for any teaching sites or anything like that. Um, we'll go here. Ooh, gotta hurry up. And then over here I have assessment. So this is a preschool assessment, what he needs to know. So I kind of have an idea of what I want to teach. I have two of those. I have another preschool benchmark right here as well as a kindergarten benchmark. So once he hits all his preschool ones, we can work on kindergarten. Um, tracking his growth monthly. So I printed out a couple of these so I can um, see how he's improved over the year. So once a month, we have 12 months. Um, and then just some scrap paper. So this is what I have in here so far. Um, maybe in a couple months, maybe six months, I will redo it so you guys can see how it's changed and how I'm still using it. But that is it. So if you have any ideas of anything else that I should put in there, please let me know or else we will see you guys in the next video. Bye!